Okay. Uh, okay. Are we being screwed with this equity split? This is a conversation from Mambiki. All right. Hi, our startups. Quick context. Currently chatting with a startup whose non-technical co-founders are looking to get two tech people to join their startup. The startup is in idea mode, but there was a fairly extensive market validation step where they talked to the ideal customers and even gathered several LOIs. Good for you. That, by the way, anyone listening, that is a great technique that's right out of the Y Combinator playbook from their startup school. I remember watching back in uh, 2013, um, that class at Stanford, they they uh, teach, this is one of the ways they recommend for getting B2B traction. It still holds up today. While LOIs are not you know, legally binding contracts, they do demonstrate some validation and some in interest. For those of you who don't know, an LOI is a letter of intent from another business. So if you're a B2B company, you get that business say, hey, if you deliver this, I, am, uh, I have an intent to buy it. That's basically what it is. Okay, moving on. So they said everything looked pretty good. Uh, they were lovely people, but what they are offering in terms of equity is essentially a half of their own shares. Each tech person would get 50% of what each non-tech person would get. Okay. So you've got, yeah, basically you've got this startup with non-technical co-founders looking to get two people to join and they're going to give up half their equity. On top of that, they don't want to draw salary for the first six to 12 months. And there's a standard 12 month cliff. Not sure if that's relevant. I think it's relevant. I'm a little uncertain if this is a fair split, given that they haven't invested any meaningful amount of money into the startup and wondering if it's just one of those things business people do to end up with more equity than tech people. The startup itself is a tech startup. All right, look, I mean, you're basically asking, like, is it fair that these people uh, want to give up half of their shares to you? I mean, it sounds pretty fair. I mean, it's half, you know, what could be more fair than an equal split? Um, so I, I think the question under the question here is that you are not sure that these people are going to carry their weight. You're considering joining, um, you know, they're not drawing salary. Maybe you wouldn't be drawing salary. So if they're not drawing salary and you said they haven't invested any meaningful amount of money, if they're not drawing salary for six to 12 months, yeah, they are investing a lot of money, right? Like six to 12 months of salary is a huge investment. Um, and if you're going to be working on it with half the equity, um, that sounds like a good deal to me. Um, you know, it depends where you're at in your life. I mean, it's a big commitment to start a company with a year long cliff and not having a salary. You basically need to have a setup that, um, that, you know, you can survive for a year without that, um, without salary. So if you're in a position to do that, if you believe in the company, if this is where your heart is, uh, the validation that they've done makes sense to you, maybe spend three months and build a prototype for them. See if you can lock in some of those deals. Um, but I mean, in terms of equity, you know, it seems very generous. They're giving you 50%. Oh, shit. Okay, I misread this. They're giving you 50% of what they would get, not... Okay, they're not splitting equally. They're giving you 50% of what they would get. So in other words, uh, they would have two-thirds and you would have one-third. Okay, that was not... Uh, I did not read that correctly the first time. So with that in mind, yeah, okay. So you're going to get significantly less. But look, you're coming in later. They got the business deal. Uh, they got the business model ironed out. Uh, they effectively took the risk of starting. Um, so yeah, I think it's fair to negotiate. Um, it, this is not necessarily a bad deal. Um, I think equal equity splits are overrated. Not everybody's contributing equally necessarily. Um, but if you don't feel like it's enough to motivate you, you have, you know, the latitude to go to them and say, Hey, Love the idea, want to work with you, but I'm going to need 50% or 45% or whatever to move forward. And the 33% you're cutting me is not enough. Um, so yeah, you can kind of get my opinion on both sides since I misread it. But, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, it, it's about what motivates you. This is not like a business person trying to screw you as, as you're concerned about. It could be, but it doesn't seem that way. It just seems like they feel like they found the business model they got the traction, they got some validation. And honestly, that's worth a lot more than writing some code when you're talking about an early stage startup, like identifying your customer, starting to get some traction is, is really everything. Um, 
And so if they're cutting you in at a huge amount of equity, 33% of what they're getting, and you believe the company could wor be worth, you know, a hundred million dollars or something like that probably puts you in a pretty am uh, ambitious and pretty meaningful um, potential cash out if you're successful. So. Video production by Brian Harris. Music by Young Logos and Otis McDonald. Sponsored by Arcanium.